Pedagogy of Physical Science B8 Syllabus Second Semester. The question is explain the advantages and disadvantages of problem solving approach. Problem solving is planned attack on difficulty for finding out satisfactory solution. So in this the problem solving it's a, it is a process of transforming the description of a problem into the solution by using a knowledge of that problem domain and also by relying which means by trusting on our own ability to select and use appropriate problem solving strategies techniques and also the tools what are the features of the problem solving the problem should be first of all clear and definite meaningful and challenging for student interest generating for them related to real life situations the children should have some previous knowledge of the problem which they are going to discuss solutions of the problem should be found out by the learners themselves under the guidance of teacher suitable to the age needs physical and mental capability of students this problem solving process has the following steps first we will be identifying and selecting the problem secondly we are going to analyze the problem third generating potential solutions fourth selecting and planning solution fifth implementing solution and the last step is evaluating solution so instead of using the six steps process we can also use the five step process of solving the problems first we can identify and define the problem second analyze the problem third formulate tentative hypothesis fourth test the hypothesis and the last step is verify the result let's take an example neha bought a pen for rupees 100 and sold it for rupees 120 find her profit or loss our first step is identifying and defining the problem after we select the problem let the child understand this problem in his or her own words so first of all we are going to see buying and selling and profit and loss meaning so cost price which means it is the price at which an article is purchased selling price means the price at which an article is sold profit will be if selling price is greater than the cost price and the loss will be if selling price is less than the cost price in step 2 we are going to analyze the problem now after defining the problem in his or her own words the child will be able to analyze the given problem that the problem can be solved or how the problem can be solved and in the step 3 we are going to formulate tentative hypothesis that is after we analyze the various aspects of the problem the child will be able to make hypothesis that there is some profit made by Neha step 4 is testing hypothesis now on the given data the child will be able to solve the problem in the following manner in the example the given things are cost price and the selling price that is cost price is given as 100 and selling price is given as 120 now in this we see that the selling price is more than the cost price which means it is a profit so in this case the formula will be profit is equals to selling price minus cost price that is equals to selling price is 120 minus cost price is 100 which will give us as 20 rupees so the profit is rupees 20 now in the last step we verify the result after testing and verifying the hypothesis the child will be able to conclude that Neha made a profit of rupees 20. Thus the child will be able to generalize the results and also apply his knowledge in the new situations. Some of the advantages of problem solving method are it helps students to adopt the idea 
of not to be hurried to make a decision helps to develop power of expression of the child helps in maintaining discipline in the class because students stay busy in finding out the solutions of their own problems it is a thought provoking and develops higher level thinking skills in children the students learn to accept different opinions of their classmates and thus become tolerant it stimulating interaction of diverse ideas which results in a wider range and better quality of solutions scientific values are inculcated in students by using this method and lastly for independent study an individual needs a sense of responsibility originality and resourcefulness which are developed by this method along with the advantages there are also some disadvantages it is a time consuming method and difficult to cover the prescribed syllabus all topics and areas cannot be covered by this method it is more of mental activity and less of physical activity this method will also fail if the classroom is teacher dominated talented and skillful teachers are required for this method and this method does not suit students of lower classes as a conclusion teacher must be alert and active to arouse interest among students guide them at every step and provide assistance when needed to overcome obstacles group the students and allow each one to share in the task to be performed in this way the cooperative learning strategy would work well teacher should also help the learners if they are facing any difficulties they need to establish a rapport with students for the smooth competition of the work